Hello, I'm Dr. Günther Dimkova Fuchs, senior partner with the Fox Group. Using selected and critical details as examples on certification and meaningful use criteria of EHS systems, here is an overview. Let us look at the High Tech Act, which provides up to 17 billion for incentive payments to providers who adopt EHR technology. Those eligible professionals entitled to incentive payments. Eligibility is, at least in part, depending on the so-called demonstrated meaningful use of certified EHR technology. The definition of meaningful use in the statute is limited. It must be meaningfully integrated, including e-prescribing or e-scribing. It must provide electronic exchange of health information. It must be used for submitting clinical quality measures. The definition of certified is also somewhat limited. Example, it must include patient demographic and clinical health information, such as medical history problem lists must have the ability to provide clinical decision support for physician order entry. It must capture and query information relevant to healthcare quality. With the exception of e-prescribing, very few systems address these basic criteria today, let alone the more detailed definition of meaningful use under development. The first draft of the meaningful use criteria was published in June 2009 by the Meaningful Use Workgroup of the Health Information Technology Policy Committee. The Advisory Committee established to propose regulations and policies to implement the High Tech Act. The first draft of the Meaningful Use criteria were a surprise. There was less emphasis on the traditional functions of EHR systems, such as provider documentation and electronic claim submission. Instead, or better in addition, there were criteria related to patient access to electronic copies of the encounter records, clinical summaries, lab, test results, educational resources. And there is the criteria of sharing of patient information with public health authorities. The criteria are driven by so-called health outcomes, policies, priorities and care goals. Health outcome policy priorities include quality, safety, efficiency of health care, reduction of health disparities, engaging patients and families, improve care coordination, improve public health, and ensure privacy and security protection for PHI. And what about the care goals? Ten initial criteria? Here are examples. Access to comprehensive patient health data. Use evidence-based order sets and computerized physician order entry. Systems must reach out to patients, reminders, care instructions. Public reporting and timely access. Exchange meaningful clinical information among professionals. Assure privacy and security through operating policies and technology. And also provide transparency of data sharing. These care goals are implemented through a series of objectives and measures scheduled for implementation over a four-year period. If you do not participate, there will be disincentives, three or even five percent decrease of Medicare payments, and, as recently published by CCHIT, their 50-page document on certification shows that the time has clearly come to establish an EHR system in your organization, scalable and flexible to adjust for these and other meaningful use criteria. Okay, so far we have reviewed some definitions of meaningful use and certification criteria. We learned that it is defined by outcome policy priorities and care goals. We looked at some samples of outcome priorities and care goals, be it messaging, patient outreach, patient access and others. Now care goals are now implemented by objectives and measures over time. So what about these objectives and measures? In 2011, there are the original 29 objectives. Example, use CPOE for all orders. Implement drug, drug, drug allergy, drug formula checks. Provide advanced directives. Implement at least one clinical decision rule. Provide patients with access, electronic copies. Exchange clinical information. 
submit data electronically and comply with HIPAA privacy and security rules. Rather than approaching another sample listing, let's just remember there is more and it will be expanded from the original 29 criteria. And remember this, a time has come to ensure your participation and eligibility for these incentives. Let's recap. We discussed meaningful use and definitions. We talked about outcome objectives and care goals. And we talked about how objectives and measures are used to implement these care goals over time. And then there is something else. Measures are metrics relating to the reporting of quality and administrative measures. And before we go on, remember that an upgrade or a new EHR system must include the scalability and flexibility of adjusting to all these meaningful use criteria, including these kind of metrics. Percent of patients who smoke or offered smoking cessation counseling, percent of patients at high risk for cardiac events on aspirin prophylaxis, percent of claims submitted electronically, percent of patients with access to electronic PHI, percent of patients with access to secure electronic messaging. Calculations involved? Well, kind of. It will require the collection of information to use as a denominator in calculating these percentages. And then there's another thing. Not all providers will be collecting information on measures. For example, specialists may not collect information on preventive care screenings not related to their specialty area. Some measures do not match the definitions used in PQRI. Some measures are beyond the control of the provider. So what's next? How does this impact eligible providers? The meaningful use criteria are supposed to be finalized by the end of 2009. The objectives will probably remain very similar to those already proposed. And the government may allow for several certification methods or organizations, including CCHIT. The meaningful use criteria and certification requirements, if adopted and implemented intelligently, will transform our entire system. If you'd like to learn more about meaningful use criteria or about the Fox Group, give us a call, drop us an email, or come visit us on the web where you'll find several short videos on the subject and a more complete matrix detailing all the current meaningful use criteria. The Fox Group, providing excellence to the healthcare community since 1989.